Here's something you might like to go to this evening. SLEE, that is Sustainable Living Initiative here in Waterford. They're inviting you for a climate positive evening. Climate anxiety is a real thing and thinking about the climate crisis can be tough. They want to give people climate positive news and this World Water Day, which is today by the way, SLEE and Gartelaine are bringing you 2040. This award winning film is fun uplifting and focuses on the positive changes we can make to ensure a bright future. Now, Sarah Keane is Communications and Project Officer with SLE, Waterford Sustainable Living Initiative here in Waterford. Plastic Free Waterford, and we all want to keep the world plastic free. This is about the oceans and it is World Ocean Day today. So Sarah's on the line. Hi Sarah, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. How are you doing? Not too bad at all. Well, question one, tell us a bit about SLE for people who aren't familiar. So SLE, yeah, it's the Waterford Sustainable Living Initiative and SLE obviously stands for that, but it also is the Irish word for the way, which we kind of feel really encompasses our work. Mm-hmm. So we're an org- we're a non-profit organisation that are focused on driving sustainability and we do it through education and inspiring action at a community level. So all of our work kind of takes um, place within the framework of the Sustainable Development Goals and we work on loads of issues that fall, fall under this umbrella, including, say, problems with single-use plastics or fair trade or waste or child and forced labour. All of those kind of things that fall under that. Yeah. That, how, how is that proceeding, that whole thing with the, you know, the single-use cups and stuff? Is, are, are we making progress there? It makes total sense, doesn't it, to buy a mug and go into your coffee shop and get your coffee? Is that working? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is working, yeah. It's. I mean, people are starting to take it up more and more. Um, and places are becoming a lot more receptive to it. Like you'll notice, yeah. say, certain coffee shops will give you 20 cents or 10 cents off if you bring in a reusable cup. And, you know, it's it's all about sort of people changing those small behaviours and even governments bringing in like laws, basically banning them. Yeah. It is coming in um, slowly but surely. And uh, there's definitely been a great uptake. Well, you'd be delighted. With, the pandemic. You'd be delighted to know I have a Mac Cafe one beside me here, which I picked up in McDonald's. But they're a nice brand. They're a nice <laughs> branding, you know, kind of branding tool as well for for businesses. So I mean, you take away one of those ones from some, any of the coffee places, they're very good. Well, it's really, really important to bring home our plastics and uh, all of our rubbish, really. So yeah. if we're going out to the beach and we're having a little picnic, make sure that we put all of that stuff either in the bin that are provided if we're on a beach, or just bring it home with us and recycle it, or put it into the correct bins when we get home. Mm. Um, it's really important because once a piece of plastic or a little bit of rubbish gets into the ocean, it can travel halfway across the world. Like all of our oceans are connected. We really do live in this world together. Mm -hmm. So it's important for us to be aware of like our own little impact on those things. So take home our rubbish or if we're going to a picnic anywhere, make sure that we keep an eye on what we're doing with our waste. Um, Don't bury the the nappies. I've seen people do that. (laughs) Very nappies. Oh, yeah, no. On the beach. Oh, no, it's oh, terrible. no. It happens. No, Believe that's, There's that's great awful. bunch in Dunmore. Bring them home. The, yeah, there's a great bunch in Dunmore. They go around every evening and they, they clean the beaches. Just voluntary kind of a thing. It's brilliant. And a lot of other places, Same I'm sure, up and Tremor, down the coast. Yeah. Tremor are brilliant. Um, and they even have, so like there's a, this pick three for the sea, which is a really great initiative. So if you're out on the beach, not only bring home your own waste, which obviously everybody should do, but if you're walking the beach and you see a little piece of rubbish, like pick three pieces of rubbish, bring them up to the bin, put them into it. And it just, it's that little thing that takes a couple of minutes yeah. and makes a huge difference. Adds up. So uh, I think that's a really good initiative. That's a good idea. That's great to hear. So, I mean, if people are, are anywhere up and down the coast, uh, take, take uh, Sarah's advice there. Now, the film, I'm fascinated to hear about this, 2040, what's it all about? What's it all about? Yeah. So 2040 um, really came about, Damon Gamow is the, the creator behind this. And it came about um, when he was think, he was looking at his daughter and he was obviously hearing all these negative things about the climate mm. and where the world is going. And he decided to make a film about it. But it's done in such a way that it's like a letter to his four-year-old. So this makes it... Um, really accessible to a really broad audience so it's much more positive you were saying all about it's super positive like it's it okay yes it it acknowledges that there's negative things but then it looks at actually what exists at the moment so there's loads of solutions out there and what he does he looks at what if the whole world took on these solutions and these um 
options and we just adopted them really quickly and decided, yeah, let's do it. And he looks at how that would look and what might happen um, and looks at how it could, if we embraced all of these solutions, how it could reverse the effects of climate change, how it could slow down the melting of the ice caps. It could slow down and would slow down um, the the heating up of the oceans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And he kind of, he does it in a really fun way as well. Like, so he, he mixes like a traditional documentary with dramatic scenes and visual effects and kind of, it makes it really fun, and it's uh, because it's like a little letter to his daughter. It's it, it's got that kind of dad cheekiness to his daughter sort of mm. angle as well. So it's quite it's quite cheeky and fun. Um, so it's it's educational, but it's it's a lot of fun and it's really positive. And how did you come across him in the film, Sarah? Research, really. Yeah. Um, I well, as part of our work, we like to put on things for the public and we try and make them free so that as many people can come as possible. Um, Because we think this is really important. Like we need things to be accessible and people to have the opportunity to come and see things without fear of having to pay money for it or, you know, to make it as accessible to as many people as possible. Mm. So I was looking for something that was positive, educational, and was accessible to lots. So I started researching and looking into things. And this one came up and it just seemed to fit the bill so nicely. Because recently in the media, you've heard so much about how climate anxiety is a real thing. And our young people are suffering from climate anxiety. I suffer from it occasionally. I'm sure we Mm. all do. Mm. And it kind of, a lot of academics think that, you know, it can be really debilitating. It can stop us from from doing things, it can really put us in a really negative kind of mind frame. Yeah. And that's that's not useful to us. You know, hearing all that negative stuff, okay, it's good to know that things are happening and to be aware of it. But we need to be able to do something about it. And if we feel like we can't, we won't. Mm. But this movie, it flips it on its head. It says, hey, these things do exist. We can make a difference. Here are all the positive things that are there. Yes, climate change is real. Mm. Yes, there are big problems. But guess what? There are solutions and we can make a difference. We can believe that we can make a difference. We can aspire to that. Well, it sounds good. 2040. And what's the approach here about booking and stuff, Sarah? So booking is free, but it is essential. So you go onto the uh, Gersh Lane website and you can book on through there. Um very simple as you'd book any other movie yeah. and then you just turn up on the day you get your tickets and an email. Yeah, they've lovely come digi- in on, they have lovely digital yeah, equipment come in. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. No, and they've got a really good screen in there as well. It's yeah. lovely, like their little theatre and the, the screen is beautiful and obviously their seats are super comfy. Um so yeah, Wednesday, June eighth, seven PM. Okay. And you go on to the Gartrain website and it's seven PM Wednesday, the eighth of June. And one final question, Sarah, are you looking for people to join you? In Slee? Well, I am actually, we have a Youth Advisory Climate Council, um, which is for 16 to 35 year olds, um, <clears throat> where we go to local decision makers. In fact, we had an event last week where we had councillors from Waterford and the mayor, um, and we had our youth, our council put questions to them, have really open discussion, and we had a load of students as well from schools around where they got to converse with counsellors and ask them questions that were really important to them about Waterford and what Waterford is doing to take action on climate. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of work around that. So yes, absolutely. Come and join our Youth Advisory Climate Council and we do a lot more events like that where we get the voice of people out there on what they want for climate in Waterford. Because we live in such a beautiful environment here, don't we? The whole oh country. my God, we're so lucky. Yeah. Sure, the whole country is gorgeous, but even in just Waterford itself, like oh, our so whole lovely. Copper Coast, yeah. our Tremor, Dunbar, Garris, but man, we have Anstown. Like we have so many beautiful beaches. We have so, and like, and not only do we have beaches, we also have mountains. We've got the Cumrus. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Our, we're so lucky where we are. We are, aren't we? And there's so much to offer. So we need to, you know, be really grateful for that and I think we are yeah. and I think we make the most of it and keep it um, nice and keep it nice and clean and like yeah. you know just look after it a little bit so that like our kids our kids kids can enjoy it 
Yeah, I, was only, do. I was only looking at Sean Corker and down Kilfarisi down yes. at Copper Coast doing his beautiful sand art. I don't know how he does it. Yeah. But he does these things. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah, isn't he? I mean, that kind of stuff, it, it makes the country look so beautiful abroad. And I'm sure people come along and they wouldn't dare. What was it they said about the hook years ago? You know, we, we love having our visitors here, but please only leave your footprints on the sand, which I thought was a great, oh, yeah. great message. Yeah, that is great. It but is a lovely message. I, I'm 100%. And that's what's great about his art as well. It's so beautiful. And it's like, but another part of its beauty is how it disappears when the tide comes in. Like yeah. It's it's you know, the effort, it's gorgeous. Like Well, Sarah's, uh, you're on sleewaterford.ie and all of the uh, socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Waterford Slee. At Waterford Slee. S-L-I, yep. great. Sarah, thanks a million. Please stay in touch with us.